fit into your sir it's a, it's a true true story i am telling you it's a true story honestly hello everyone welcome to sisa this much this is aditya and today we have with us umair from pakistan uh, he has also recently qualified his sisa so umair first of all heartiest congratulations for clearing the exam and and you know uh, sharing your experience and you know uh, the entire process with us so okay yeah yeah us uh, so uh, umair can you please introduce yourself to our audience like what's your background and you know your academic qualification and you, uh, like where are you working currently in which field you are working currently okay sir aditya thank you very much for connecting to me online uh, it's a nice it is the first meeting online with you sir and it's a truly honor for me uh, sir uh, uh, my background is uh, is a very simple sir i am not a very much qualified person uh, i just uh, completed my masters in finance and nothing else i am just a mba in finance and i am not a topper student not a good student i am just a b grade student in my entire education uh, life from matriculation intermediate graduation and masters i'm just a normal student first of all i want to clear to all my uh, cisa aspirants uh, it's a uh, my little uh, educational background then i am uh, currently working in the educational system private limited uh, it is connecting to the schooling industry and for the last 4 to 5 years i am working in the schooling industry not a, a big industry for example not a big company for example Uh, i am just connecting to the schooling industry and where i am providing uh, my services as a erp support personnel for the last 4 years so due to the erp support personnel uh, uh, i uh, connected with the different departments for example finance department hr department and admin department and in the meanwhile the audit department and the external auditor as well uh, so when i am provide uh, as i am providing services erp support personnel then it gives me the idea what these people uh, do in the organization when they come and check our systems so this gave me the idea and uh, so i decided to do that uh, uh, those qualification which enhance my career uh, so i come to the point that this uh, cisa is the certification which uh, i need to do but uh, as per my uh, educational background i am not i i was thinking i am not qualified or not medium student to do this so this is my little introduction as per the qualification and as per the my small experience okay so uh, there are you know few questions you know in my mind first of all like you are saying that you have done your mba okay and you are working for four years in erp as a erp support personnel right so you are working in it like you know almost you you are you are there you know in the erp support and the implementation process right so like do you wanted to get into it start from the beginning or like uh, it was like uh, i mean you you got a job and and then you you know you were you got into this uh, entire uh, like it field or or you wanted to work only in it before also because see you 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 have this background of mba okay so what made you choose this field this line and then afterwards you know after getting into this job like you also felt to do cisa okay so what made you choose this particular line okay okay sir so uh, as per uh, as i uh, told you i just did an mba so there is very much competition competition in the market in the finance or just simple uh, mba side so when i go to the market place i didn't get very good opportunity in the market as well as in terms to the salary as well so uh, due to the very less salary i decided to 
switch my career to the IT side. So in the IT side, I switch my career in as a ERP coordinator in the in the educational system. When I uh, switch my finance side to the IT side, I learned the ERP process. Uh, even it's a simple process: accounts payable, account receivable. But working is on the ERP system. So due to the help of the ERP system, I again decided there is a chance to move my career further in the IT side. So I decided to start my career in the IT side and, and I grabbed the things. But the thing is that I don't have any qualification or certification in the IT side. So I discussed many personnel okay, how I proceed or pursue my career further. So uh, there is a lot of uh, certification, but uh, I don't know what happened to me to come to CISF. Eh? Okay, so okay, so uh, see, uh, guys, you know, he's saying that he was not a good student, but let me tell you honestly, uh, he he was very sincere, you know, right from the day one. You know, he used to ask me doubts on WhatsApp. You know, we had uh, like lots of WhatsApp calls also, like during the weekends. I remember, like he was very sincere right from the day one when he uh, enrolled with us. Okay, so. You know, I mean, uh, if if he can clear CISA, because to be very honest, you know, CISA exam is not that easy. Okay, you have to understand the concepts. You have to put your time. You have, and that too, uh, he's also a working pro professional. He's also having a full-time job. Okay, so even after that, he could, you know, give time for studying. He has done lots of hard work, you know. So this is an example in front of you. Okay, yeah. So, uh, my next question to you will be how much time did it take for you to uh, write from the day one, you know, till the day you have cleared your exam, CISA exam? Sir, so before deciding to pursue CISA, I go to my senior manager or, for, for example, assistant manager IT or manager IT. So they totally, totally uh, yeah, answer me that it is not for you. It's uh, particularly for the IT background personnel and something uh, this much. So I very much demotivated then. Then I think uh, there is a certain chance. Then I saw your video on the YouTube of the domain to CISA. That is uh, it's a three of course uh, 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 video that makes my mind ke how easily you are uh, teaching on the uh, CISA. Uh, and that decide me to uh, to start CISA preparation. So uh, the total tenure I serve for the preparation is just two months and nineteen days. I bought your course. I started the preparation and I even study six hours in a day with a full time job. As you inform me at least you must watch uh, videos for two hours daily. So I obey your, uh, your requirement. I fulfill your requirement sincerely. I come, uh, I come from the office. I don't do anything. Even I have a kids as well, my wife as well. I just start watching two hours video daily. Then as you told me, uh, as you told me uh, on Sunday, you must watch video for eight hours. Then I also sincerely watch videos eight hours. Once I finish all the videos, sir, you don't uh, believe uh, I uh, I start uh, uh, solving the questions from the QA. And uh, in two months, 19 days, I read it like a digest, just a book digest. I just go through the questions, read the answer, go through the questions and read the answers. And uh, you don't believe I finished it five times in two months, 19 days. In two months, 19 days, I finish it five times. That give me the idea that I can easily appear in the Islam and pass the CISA. Then you also help me to set and give the question, for example, the previous exam question that also helped me. But before that is the inspiration. Then I revise, then I ask you, I have a doubt in that. Want and the simple, uh, yes, sir, sorry. Uh, the simple thing is that the course you design, 
it's a very very summarized way come to the point what the examiner asks you you put all the things in your course that is the important thing uh, you can go to the market and uh, see different teachers are teaching cisa exam but when you see the course outline when you see the way they are teaching it's very difficult and it's a very uh, consuming your time very much but the videos you shared you designed the course uh, i think uh, the student can easily complete all the videos within 20 days and then start q and a and then uh, the past question and appear exam within the three months and from the day one to uh, the 90 day uh, he prepared he appeared or he passed it's a three months journey as i am the example i am the b grade student and not a solid background from the it not a solid background from the accountancy okay yeah. so um okay uh, like i'm i'm actually you know very much you know got into your sir it's and, a it's a true true story i am telling you it's a true story honestly okay so uh, what would be your uh, you know piece of advice to the students you know who wants to give this exam but uh, i don't know for any reason maybe like you know they have doubt in their mind like you know can they enter into it because everyone knows that you know the future is of it and you know uh, but still there are people especially from uh, commerce background uh, finance finance professionals you know these people wants to get into this field but you know at times they have this thing in mind that can can they be able to justify uh, you know after clearing the exam like will they get a job and you know um, will they uh, get a good salary and will they be able to justify themselves you know in their career path so what would be your piece of advice to these people so piece of advice is that uh, relieve the self threat uh, for success or a failure first of all if you relieve your self threat uh, uh, whether i pass or cisa or not relieve this you will 100% pass this cisa if you maintain discipline of 3 months in your study after pass cisa you must have, you can easily when you update your profile on the linkedin and other forums you definitely reply from the uh, top of the companies as i pass this uh, cisa and as i update my cv on the linkedin profile okay so umair uh, thank you so much for inspiring everyone i'm damn sure that many people you know who will be watching this video will learn they will get confidence you know you have uh, you know uh, kept an example in front of these people that you know if if people like you uh, can come to this level and right now you are saying that there's so much of opportunities coming to you and you know if if uh, if you can do it i mean like these people i mean you have helped lots of people who will be watching this video so thank you thank you so much for uh, giving your time and sharing your entire experience with us so thank you very much for your all support uh, without your support uh, i <laughs> i can't qualify this uh, certification uh, truly thankful for you sir truly thankful